Hey everyone, and welcome to the Black Afghano Clone Off. I have in front of me here seven clones of Black Afghano, and my sample of the original here, which is a 5 mil and really cool colour. So I thought I'd compare these to give you an idea of how they are and which one's the best. I have two sprays by the company Perf Impala and Precious Pearls, both of which are located in the UK and produce clones. And I also have the oil roll-on variants of Black Afghan too. So this is Perf Impala's one, and I believe the new one now is probably in the same colour as this. Like, yeah, I'll come on to this now. And this is Precious Pearl's one, which is also very black. And I also have three others, so one by Al Haramain, another by Swiss Arabian, and finally my most recent acquisition, which was by El Nabil, or Nabil, Nabil, <laughs> I'm not really sure. Right, so what do I think of the original Black Afghano? It's bloody amazing. I, re I went off and actually bought the sample just for the purposes of, of this video, to be honest. I've owned this uh, Perf Impala one for a while now, and I actually wanted to see how good it was compared to the original. Along the way, I also picked up all these oils, so here, here it is. Right, so, all right, I'll go on to this one first. So, Perf Impala is here. This one is probably the most oody smelling, and actually probably the least kind of weedy smelling like there's not so much of a strong kind of like hash note in here i wouldn't say and i do think in the recent one that they produce i think if you buy this now it will come quite black and the hash note will be much more pronounced but this is quite oody very middle eastern and this one captures the kind of the darkness of black afghan if you will not necessarily the kind of hash aspect but just the overall darkness and yeah the darkness of the scent really so the precious pearls one this is very hash heavy so when you apply this there's immediately a very strong hash note there's also a, like a little bit of weirdness in this like anise or something it feels like but that's not very pronounced and if you do rub it in it does disappear quite quickly and one thing I'd like to say as well is when I talk about longevity and projection etc please take that with a grain of salt because you know your mileage will definitely vary it's going to be so dependent on your, on your skin chemistry on your body heat on the temperature outside there's so many factors that come into play here but i'll try and give a general guideline so yeah the this one it doesn't really have much of an oody scent i don't find but it's very like earthy dark and very strong with a hash i do like this one but i'll be honest i prefer perfume parlors one even though the kind of weed note's a bit subdued in that, just the overall feel is just like really, really good. And to be honest, Perfum Parlor Parlor is one of the closest ones to my nose. So the longevity in this is kind of, it's not the best. I mean, the way I've tested the longevity is by applying it quite heavily on my arm before I go to bed. And then when I wake up the next day, which is like six hours or seven hours if I go work, if I can smell it the next day, then it's looking at a decent one, uh, decent longevity. But not all of these have kind of been noticeable the next day or the next morning. So yeah, this kind of is hit or miss again. Like you know, it's not always noticeable, but sometimes it does last. I'd say probably like six or eight hours. The perfume parlor one, longevity wise, you're looking at. For me, it's probably like ten to sixteen hours. They are quite a lot wide ranges, but like I said. It does vary a bit. So the Al Haramain one here, this is probably the best one to my nose. It has a very strong hash note. The oodiness is also kind of captured really well here. And I find that overall it just kind of, it does have the essence of Black Afghan Garno down to the, down to a T the best. The longevity in this is great. It's, it's as good as Perfum Parlor's one. And yeah, it's just, it's got a very pronounced hash note with this, and like I said, the oodiness is there too. So the Swiss Arabian one here, looks like I've used quite a bit of it. This one is also very good. I'd probably say it's better than the Precious Pearls one, but not as good as the other two. The longevity is a little below the Perfume Parlor one. And the smell is just not as kind of, the quality just doesn't feel as good as the Al Haramain one, to be honest. I need to kind of familiarize myself with these with these some brands. I kind of know 
you know, know the levels of the brands, like how Armaf, Ajmal, Rosasi, Al Haramein, Sarati, Swiss Arabian. I'm not really sure how these all stack up against each other. So I'd be interested to know that. So if anyone does know that, please let me know. And yeah, finally then is the most recent one. So a, a subscriber of mine, I believe it's Martin, Martin M, I think he said about this. And I paid five pounds for this. And it came arrived damaged, which is why it looks quite used. Basically some leaked out, so I contacted the seller and they sent me another one, which is quite cool. So I have 10 mils of black I've gone. Uh, it's kind of a good thing I've kind of waited for this video because my first smells of this uh, it's leaked on my hand again now. My first impression of this were kind of not too good. I thought it reminded me of this paint I used as a child to paint these like uh, plastic airplanes called Airfix, and we'd use certain paint or glue, and the smell was so familiar and like reminiscent of that, which is not a good thing. And it took a long time to dry down. But nowadays, no. Nowadays, <laughs> now it just kind of it dries down quite faster, and the smell is like similar to black Afghano, but the quality just doesn't feel up there along with these other ones. The longevity is not the best on this neither. So yeah, I've kind of got two of these. Maybe I think with time, maybe the fragrance will macerate. I believe is the term. I think they may be kind of like you know thrown about during shipping. So. I find that oilers tend to settle like after a month and the scent, the scent becomes a lot more prominent. So yeah. Now I've got the sprays. So yeah, perfume parlors one. Uh, these both have a very strange opening, like there's a alcoholic smell for sure with this. And it does take a bit of time to settle into it. But I actually sprayed this under my, ch under my shirt last night before I went to bed. And you know, I woke up and then I put my top on. And it must have been like 12 hours later. And you can still smell this going quite strongly, you know, it's very similar to how the oil smells. I would say the oil does smell richer and lasts for long, a longer time. But it's not bad, you know. I did have a few bad batches of perfume parlor sprays where the opening was just absolutely terrible and the smell just didn't dry down to anything at all. Well, it dried down to something, but it wasn't very similar to how it should smell. But this one's really good. I'm not sure if it's because I've bought it in a higher quantity, like I think it's 12 mil sprays they do, but they've all been kind of hit or miss. But yeah, I gotta say this one's pretty good, like, but I would go for the oil instead. I do prefer sprays, but I prefer to use the oil with this, to be honest. And similarly, the perfume part, uh, Precious Pearls one here, it's got a strange opening. It kind of makes me think of anise, like similar to how the, the oil opens, but a lot funkier I would say. Again it does dry down but it does take a little bit more time to get there and again then the smell is not too far from the Roblon oil which is pretty good. So in terms of price as well you know the pre the, the perfume parlor ones cost like five pounds with two pounds or shipping. The precious pearls was ten pound I believe. Not sure. I'll, I'll add it in the text now. So I'll have to check it. Oh, sorry. The oil, the oil was like about three pound fifty, and the this is like ten pound. I paid about four pound for the Al Haramein one, five pound for El Nabil, and about four or five quid for the Al Haramein, and I paid twenty pounds for the five mil sample. So to be honest, I'd try to go for the Al Haramein one out of these. This is the winner in my eyes, and you know I got what. A lot of mills here of black afghano so i think i'm set for life to be honest i was kind of <laughs> i wanted to buy myself a full bottle i wasn't actually ever close to doing it but i wanted it for a long time but you know it's actually gonna take me a long time to use the bloody five mil sample to be honest so i'm probably never gonna own the bottle in my life but i don't need to so thanks for watching guys and any questions whatever give me a shout below and take care and have a good day or night or evening or wherever you're at <laughs> Right, so I just sat down to edit this and I forgot that I actually wanted to show you guys how I use my oils. You might think I'm a bit crazy with the way I do this, but I use a lot. Like, I've owned this for about eight months now and I haven't used it that much, but at this rate, it'll go down quickly. So, I tend to do this. I literally draw about three or four lines up my arms. Hopefully the kind of camera's gonna catch that literally oily as hell and then 
I rub it in. Oh, fuck. Like, if I'm going to work, I won't really do with this, so I'll put a lot less on. But oils are a great way to actually kind of like give yourself two cents at the same time. Like with all rehabbed oils, I've been putting one on as well as a, fra a fragrance spray, and then you have kind of two different fragrance sp fragrance smells going on. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And look, it's dried away now. It's not very oily, and that will leave a smell for 18 hours probably. Depends. Don't take my word for it on time, exact times, but you know, it is hit or miss. So thanks for watching. Bye.